Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. I'm Ella and in this video we are going to work on sheets, title blocks and layouts. This tutorial is full of tips and tricks so don't forget to watch it until the end. Let's just start. Click on new family and go to title blocks. You can either use one of these dimensions for your sheet or if you want to create one with your own dimensions, click on new size. As always, first thing we are going to do is setting our unit. Press UN, go to length, change its unit to meter, and rounding to two decimal. Okay, okay. Let's say we need a two size sheet. So dimension for this side is going to be 59.4 and in this part we need 42. Select the line, click here and enter. Okay, and for this part, okay, you can delete these dimensions. First, we are going to divide our sheet into two parts. You need to use a reasonable amount of space of your sheet to enter your information. One simple way to find this proportion is to use a line and array. So select your line and create a small line here. Select it and click on array. Put your array on last and draw one in the other side. Now in this part you can enter whatever number that is suitable for you. And I think 7 could be good. Now go to create again and create another one exactly on this line. You can delete the rest of lines. To create borders, again go to create and line and select rectangle. For offset, let's use 3 millimeters and just draw your rectangle exactly on this line. You can see that our rectangle is outside so you just need to press a space and click. And let's create another one for this side. As you know, we are going to add different information in this part. So we can also separate them by line. You can change them later. First of all, we are going to add our logo. To add your logo, you can either drag your logo to your Revit like this. Or you can just go to insert and use import image. Now select your image and change its size and put it on this part. Then we are going to add our site. Go to create again and click on labels. In edit label, you can see different options that we can add to our sheet. For adding site, you can either use this assembly URL or just organization description. Let's go with URL, add this to your parameter with this icon and in this part you can change its sample value. Okay, now if you select your label and go to edit type, you can see different options that we have here. You can change its color, you can change its lightweight, if you want you can change its background from opaque to transparent. We're going to use transparent for all of them because we want to see behind of our label. If you want to have borders you can check this box and for controlling your border or leader you can change this number. For our text we are going to change our text font to Calibri and for text size we are going to use 3. You can also make your label bold, italic or underlined. Before we apply, duplicate this and change its name. Okay. Drag your label to whatever location that is suitable for you. Now because we are going to put our site in center, we can change its alignment from left to center and you can make it larger. For this part, we also add our contact detail. For this, we need to go to labels again and select organization description. Actually, I didn't find any option to add contact or number like phone number so we are going to use this for sample value we can add something like this now drag this under your side and change its alignment to center next part is usually about owner about designer about architect about who drew this about who checked this author or whoever that worked on this 
Before we add their name, we need to know the difference between label and text. Basically, label is for things that we are going to change in our project, but text is something that we don't need to change it. You are going to use text to show this is where you need to enter your client's name and you are going to use label to change that name. Let me show you. Select text and create a text here. Client slash owner. Go to create again and create a label. Click here and add client name. Add it to your parameter. Okay. So this is our label and this is our text. The difference between these two is that if we load this sheet to our project, we can't change this client owner, but we can change this. Now, if you select your text in this part, you can also go to edit type and change its setting. It's exactly like how we changed it for our label. Next thing that we are going to add is our designer. Go to create, click on text and create one here. Create another label and find design by. Add it to your parameter. Okay. Then we are going to enter the name of our author, the person who was in charge of drawing and also the name of person who was in charge of checking these plans. Instead of going to create and using label and text multiple time you can just copy these two and in text part you can just simply click on them and change it but for labels you have to go to edit label and remove their parameter then this was our author so we're going to add author okay for this part go to edit label again remove this and use drawn by for check go to edit label remove this and enter checked by next part is for our site plan you can either use a site plan or just a map for this part you can do this exactly like how we add our logo for now i'm going to import a picture for this part change its size now one of the most important parts about sheets is the information about sheet number about a scale about date and about the project's name and number so in this part we're going to add these informations copy one of these texts to this part and let's change its title to project name go to create and labels click here and add project name okay go to edit type and duplicate this we are going to keep this font but change its size to like let's say six and move it to this part again copy one of these okay change its name to project number edit its label to project number okay copy this again change its name to project status and change its label to project status okay and next part which is one of the most important part is our scale change its name to the scale and its label to the scale okay you can change this let's use this one as a sample then we are going to add our date and change this label you can either use this date here or this sheet issue date now last two important part for this section is about our sheet we are going to add sheet number and sheet name and we are going to use this one so select it and copy this and change project name to sheet name and this one to sheet number okay change this label to sheet name okay and this one to sheet number now in this final part you can either add a north sign to show your true north or you can just leave this part for signatures or for notes but we're going to add our sign here so yes this is basically our sheet 
We usually deliver our sheets like this. We use black simple lines with no decoration. But actually you can be so creative and just create your own style. Let's save this and try a few other styles. First thing that we can do is changing our line style. If you select your line in subcategory, you can see our title block. If you just want to change the weight of your line, you can select this one or this one. But if you want to change the color or the pattern, you need to go to manage and from object style, create new subcategory. Click here and change subcategory to title block. Enter a name, let's go with blue. In here, you can change its line weight, you can change its color to let's go with blue and you can change line pattern. You can use different types of patterns here and if you want to learn about line patterns, you can check this video here where I explained everything about line patterns and reference lines. To start, let's simply create rectangle for different parts. First, delete this border here. Okay. Go to create, select line and rectangle and change subcategory to blue. Now create offset like one millimeter and draw rectangles in this part. Now you can just simply delete this line, press tab to select all of them and just delete this. This is one of the most simple ways to add style to your title block. Another style that you can use is to delete these lines here, in this part and this part and select all of the lines here, go to filter, uncheck all and just select lines with blue, ok and change their subcategory to white lines. Now create another line with white line and offset in this side which is too far okay you can see their difference here this is our line weight and this is our thin line as i said we don't usually use colors for our presentations like this but if you want to add colors to your sheet one thing that you can do is to use field region select it and select rectangle and create a rectangle here as you know when we create a rectangle inside one rectangle that second rectangle is going to be empty so create another one here just to have a space for our plan and if you go to edit type you can change its pattern or color if you want to just use a color select solid and change its color to let's go with gray here hit finish and this is what we have another thing about field region as you can see is that we can't see our logo our site plan or our north sign here so select it again go to edit a sketch and just create rectangles for them and in this part you can create something like this we can change it actually now let's test this in a project First, save your sheet and load it to your project. In project browser, right click on sheet and press new sheet. Select the one that you had created. OK. And this is our sheet. You remember when I explained about differences between text and labels? You can see here that we cannot change these part that we created with text. But for project name, for our scale and project status, we can change them from this part. We can change our sheet name and sheet number from this part. So let's change it. And as you can see, our sheet number changed and our sheet name to 
but also there are other things that we can change we have them in this part but if you want to change them you have to go to manage and project information and in this part you can change your organization name organization description which we use to add our contact detail so let's go with this number to see if it's working you can add your author name dr g for project issue date you can change it from here project status you can use foundation client name mr l project address which we didn't add but you can add its label and its text project name sky five project number three okay and you can have all of them here as you can see we have nothing in front of the scale here it's because we didn't add any plan or section to this part to add anything like plan section details or schedules to this part you just need to go to project browser and and select one of them drag them into this part you can see our scale changes according to the scale of our plan here so yes that's it I hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial. See you soon!